the Canadian government just announced that they are planning on banning foreign home buyers. But is this actually gonna work and what is this gonna cost? Welcome to Money with Mark, the channel all about personal finances. So if you want more of it, subscribe. The Canadian Liberal and NDP party just announced that they are now gonna ban foreign home buyers in Canada. So they're gonna make it illegal for any foreigners to buy residential properties and only for the next two years. So in my mind, this is actually gonna cause a higher surge in demand right now before this actually comes into effect. And then if we're also looking at a longer term strategy, it's only in effect for two years. So this foreign home buyers ban is gonna to apply to condos, apartments, and single residential units. Now this is a big gap because there are plenty of multi-unit places that you can buy and foreign home buyers are typically investors and they are most likely gonna use it for capital gains. And so by buying a four unit place, you're not even included in this ban. Permanent residents, foreign workers, and students will be excluded from this new measure. So that's really important because BC did something similar to this when they had a really large influx of foreign home buyers. And when they banned them, it didn't really help because then they started using their connections through family, friends, their children that might be at school in Canada, and people that they know that are foreign workers or students or permanent residents and are buying through their friends and family and kids. So this is a big loophole. Plus, they're also allowing foreigners who are purchasing their primary residence here in Canada to do it. And so there's nothing stopping someone from actually saying, hey, I'm going to move to Canada, buy the place, and then all of a sudden, oops, plans change, we can't move to Canada anymore. And their housing plan is all about tackling affordability. So they are planning on spending $10 billion in this housing plan, and only about $2.5 billion is going to go into affordable housing loans and funding for co-op housing. And so that is actually only going to create a about 8,000 units because it costs a roughly 300,000 to make one and it's going to be they're only spending about 2.5 billion at best um, and so they're going to maybe make about 8,000 units and estimates from other news sources are actually putting it lower at like 2,000 to 6,000 so this is even on the high end of things and how effective is this going to be to help Canada's housing crisis well according to the Halifax Examiner there are more than 30,000 permanent affordable housing units needed in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia only has 1 million people. Canada is a, is a country of 36 million people. So at best, this $10 billion housing plan is going to help less than 1% of the people that need affordable housing. Now, don't get me wrong, 8,000 units is better than zero, absolutely. But is it really tackling the affordable housing problem? It does not seem like it. On top of this, they've only seemed to lay out how they're gonna spend six and a half billion dollars of the $10 billion plan. I think the other 3.5 billion is gonna go to companies that may or may not hire family and friends of the Liberal Party candidates to speak at their conference this coming year. But that's just what I think. What do you think? Is this budget going to work? What do you think about the housing plan? Is the foreign home buyers gonna work? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Check that off the list.